If you recall in Spain, in Madrid, a couple of years ago, they banned manspreading on buses and trains. This is Andrew says, remember, I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once, especially not about manspreading. The patriarchy is coming down on us. We need to stop it. So England saw this. British University saw this, and they shall, said, we shall not be outcocked. <laughs> Woman designs chair to stop manspreading. A student has designed a chair that stops manspreading and has picked up a top award for her design. Now, listen to the arrogance in the writing. You, it's going to get more ridiculous as we go, go along. If you're unaware, manspreading is the term used to describe when some fellas sit with their legs wide apart in public places with a disregard for other people's personal space. Now, I saw this, this is from the Lad Bible. I thought that's supposed to be like a dude-centric like website, kind of like the Chive. I've seen their stuff on Facebook. I thought it was supposed to be like that. I could be wrong, but it seems a little weird that they're writing like this. The proper definition, I would think, would be more like man-spreading is some bullshit feminists came up with to like try to take space from men and don't understand that penises are a really big factor <laughs> in how wide apart men's legs are when they sit it gets worse with my chair set and remember this is a set we'll get to that later i hope to draw awareness to the act of sitting for men and women and inspire discussion around this inspire discussion around how men and women sit um now take a look at this guy aren't this guy and this girl the exact people you could picture who would be wanting to participate in a man spreading event. <laughs> we want to be examples in the man spread anti man spreading uh, chairs. Here's the quote. Here's another quote. Her work has been awarded the Belmont Award for emerging talent, with judging panel saying, "Laurel's chair was a bold and purpose driven design that explores the important role of design in informing space, a person's behavior, and society issues of today." First of all, society issues, societal issues is what it should be. But that that's just nonsense jargon. If I made a stool for a bar and I was like, this discusses the design of seating in crowded spaces and the behavior of people in society when they're conducting interpersonal relationships and the effects of alcohol and what it has on the viewership of television. You can just plug things in and it's all stupid because <laughs> it's like they somebody asked for a quote and they just filled it in with anything that they could. Laurel hasn't stopped there with her chair designs either. She's created a second seat, which we'll pull up now, intended for women, which encourages them to set, sit with their legs a little wider apart. So this is exactly why nobody likes the modern feminist movement and, and why people tend to say it's more about man-hating and you know, not making things equal, but putting them above men. Uh, they didn't try to stop at a level playing field here. They didn't stop at the man spreading chair. They didn't stop at trying to fix the problem they see for equality. She goes further. She goes for revenge. So they're stopping men from man spreading. But we've also made a chair to encourage women to man spread because it's okay when we do it. Or, you know, just really get back at the patriarchy. What is your society doing when you're thinking about these things? This is a story of the times of England and Britain and Europe as a whole. First of all, the design is shit. You've eliminated like half of the chair's possible surface area already with this design. Like you could have just made it smaller. If this is like, it's literally to prevent, to keep people sitting in a certain position. I'll just sit over it. Like, you're not going to stop me if I really want to do it. Here's another quote. Dr. Eddie Elton, senior architect, a senior architecture and design lecturer at the University of Brighton said, over the past months, our students and staff have come together and worked tirelessly on this design. You took two triangle shaped things and you put them on a stool and you worked tirelessly on this. Who are the guys just sitting there like, oh, this is a worthwhile, <laughs> this is a worthwhile journey we're on here. And so I, and, and all you're doing is wasting space and making things slightly uncomfortable. You think I can't sit over that? You think that, look at this guy. You think that you can't just sit on top of it? It doesn't make any sense. So what I thought was, who's giving these people awards is what I wanted to get down to. So this place called Belmont, called the new face of British design. Emerging talent means everything to us. 
No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So here's the other winners. I wanted to see who else they gave these awards to. And the first one is a girl who made some ugly plates out of wood, shells, and sand and melted plastic. Good for you. No one wants to eat out of that. Sorry. Not mad at her. Okay? The second one makes more sense as to why they like the man-spreading chair. Here's a quote from the guy who designed this hideous blue chair. My work stemmed from a personal exploration into my own African heritage, and I wanted to see how my identity could for inform the aesthetic, which of course just means I copied something from African heritage that I looked into. I mean, this is actually way better than the man-spreading chair. It actually has, like, supposed history behind it. I'm not really in line with the my racial identity needs to be shown in the chairs that I designed, but I'm not... I'm not that mad at it. Put that against the other girl's reasons, though. His is for, like, uh, I looked into my heritage, and this inspired me to make this chair. The other girl is, with my chair set, I hope to draw awareness to the act of sitting for men and inspire discussion around this. Inspire discussion around the act of sitting. I think we've discussed that probably, like, 2,000 years ago. When were, when were chairs... Somebody look up the etymology of when the first person sat down was. And how do I know that this is all nonsense and that it's made up man-spreading? It's because if you look at history, there's been a lot of crazy queens, like the Cleopatras, female pharaohs and stuff. There's been a lot of bloodthirsty leaders, of course, both men and women, but there has been queens and leaders in the world who have been ruthless. But none of them said... We need to stop men from sitting with their legs apart. <laughs> None of them came up with manspreading until 2015. It's funny how that works, isn't it? So, manspreading chair girl, I got one thing to say to you. Shut your mouth! You're not God or my father! Or my father! <laughs>